What are you? Loud, what you bloody well oh, played, sir. I feel like I just had a long bath in a cold lake. you haven't heard, whelp. Every time a foot soldier disturbs me, I take his head to compensate for my time. Leader, a word that hardly suffices. I lead them as far as the head leads the body. They serve me and live in service to me. I am their all-mother, the beginning and end of their very lives. I am loved by them. I am craved by them. I choose from among them he who pleases me, and I destroy the rest. The orcs of this tribe are executors of my will, no more. Naturally, there are few finer pleasures than standing before the fruits of one's labor. A stack of gold and goods to one side, and sopping sinews and bone to the other. Ah, oh, divine. I've developed a particular affinity for Tenebrium of late. The sheen of it rather pleases the eye. My boys know not to keep a shard of the stuff from me. Consider this your warning too. Miserable, you say? I quite like it. Save the altogether hideous pink apes infesting the place. But exterminating them was a rather titillating diversion, I must admit. The townsfolk here were no different from those in the north. The larger ones beg me to spare the smaller ones. The smaller ones bleed like lambs for the larger ones. Yet they each squeal just the same when you split their piggy skin from nose to navel. Yes, I dare say the wizard won't be so pleased with himself for evading us when he returns. His servants' entrails will be wreathed among his grapevines, and the rest of the villagers are already hacking away in the Tenebrium mines. Undead drones, bent in service to the conduit. Our conduit didn't describe every detail of her plan to her mold-eyed pets in the mines. Well, no matter. It hardly concerns you, unless you can break the enchantments protecting his house. But that's a matter of magic, not the erotic virtues of your mother's rot-rancid corpse. I doubt anyone from Silverglen will be of use. So it seems, but even the cleverest magician cannot conceal his tricks forever. The wizard may have fled, but he left a passel of servants behind. Servants I very much doubt will be immune to the charms of my screws and cleavers. Well, that depends very much, Whelp. My boys are free to do what they will with the garbage left over after a massacre. But certain more valuable materials must be delivered to me. Tell me, were my boys selling something rare or unusual? Indeed. One trader offered us gear made of tenebrium. That's right, he did. Quite the sneak, isn't he, to hide it from you? I understand. Now, if you'll excuse me...
Perhaps you haven't heard, whelp. Every time a foot soldier disturbs me, I take his head to compensate for my time. You have it in your very possession, you say. Prove it. I find it rather unlikely that Lieutenant Guru could have let it out of his sight. But I'll humor you for now. We ought to give her the key. When she sees Gural's failure, she'll destroy him, and it'll be one less orc to concern us. Manipulating the orcs into doing our dirty work for us. I believe this is one of our finer moments. It seems Lieutenant Gural has rather a lot to answer for. Pardon me, I must have a word with one of my boys. I need to dry off. Something of a mix-up concerning the armory key. You want girl? Tell me. The humans. These apes are nothing to us. Do you understand? Nothing. What a terrible disappointment you've been. By the words, if you be quiet. You just do the thing. Same. My lieutenant dying just before the Great War. Every which way I look, one of my boys is failing me. A terrible shame. If we can survive this, we can survive anything. I 
to dry off. I'm overheating here. Goodness. Is supper already upon us? I'd hope for something with considerably less gr One of my boys, in love with one of Jarl's. Perhaps the All-Mother ought to investigate this matter personally. Nothing sets an orc on the straight and narrow, like the humble ear of his sovereign and sworn mistress, after all. I'm drenched. Not even the old man can pass this steel in a single boat. Beautiful, ain't they? Still and pale as winter trees. Beautiful, ain't they? Still and pale as winter. There, boy. Can it be true? You claim to love this human scum? L -l love? No, no, old mother. I only have eyes for y you. Of, of course. Do not lie to your all mother, boy, or she'll use your esophagus for a leg warmer. I, all mother, it's just... Oh, I didn't mean to. I, I, I couldn't help it. So you admit to this affair? Yes, all mother. There, we have the truth. Very good, all mother. As for this transgression, I trust that in the last several moments, You've realized your terrible error. Yes, old mother. Terrible errors, never to be repeated. And I suppose I can trust you never to so much as glance at this worm-fleshed fool again? Y yes, old mother, of course. Of all this he... As I thought, then... Well, look, calm yourself. The All Mother cannot tolerate such loving things. Excuse me, I'm, I'm just overcome with your kindness. Thank you, All Mother. Thank you. <laughs> Disgusting, traitorous filth. Still and pale as winter trees. I need to dry off. Don't talk to the small boys, brother. It only makes eating them all of this pleasant later. What? Your dog cheer! You and Agnes have been too long, hasn't it, brother? Brave of you to disturb me, human. In your experience, the deer has certainly earned his moniker. Norok is my best boy. The pinnacle of orcish devotion. His child's mind and brickhard arms make him the perfect soldier. Whatever I say, Norok will do. And with a gleeful smile upon his simple face all the while.
It would do you well not to cross me, Welp. But if I tire of dealing with you, I'll simply have you sent upstairs to the Spinebreaker. He knows just what to do with the toys Mummy Dearest sends him. My patience for his antics is wearing thin. Madness I can tolerate, but failure, not for a moment. If we tell her the rat catcher has lost control over the search, she'll eliminate him. One less orc for us to worry about. And a mad one at that. I'll be all too happy to be rid of the crackpot. So, our rat catcher has overstayed his usefulness. How I do enjoy a problem with an exceedingly simple solution. Pardon? Enjoying your time in this village, are you? Milling about senselessly, like one of your vermin. Senselessly? Ah, a bit more than that. My subjects are hard at work, and they shan't rest until the door is complete! And yet, here we are, boys. And not a single village of You eat of my food and drink of my whiskey, but you've earned nothing. Or even the old man had to pass this year with you, you. You dare. Oh, mother. You dare to insinuate that I cannot! Enough, beast. You're useless. I have no place for uselessness in my camp. You dare! <laughs> Brave of you to disturb me, human. In your experience, has bravery been a particularly effective defense? But how very obvious. Who better than a cow to bring a frightened calf back into the herd? Surely you and that bootlicker's sensibility of yours ought to have an insight or two into where a servant might seek sanctuary. Our rat catcher, regrettably, seems to be in need of some direction in the matter. Brave of you to disturb me, human. But how very obvious, the dear. It would do you well not... I'd prefer to drown my sorrows with ale. 